Hello, mate. Okay, I'm filming. <laughs> hey, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today I thought I would uh, just do a midweek video here, keep rolling here, and uh, we're gonna make um, a green chili paste. So you know when you go to the grocery store, you see like these huge containers of chili peppers, you're like, oh, I need like one of these for a recipe, what am I gonna do with the rest of them? And then you end up putting them in your fridge, and then you end up throwing them all out because you don't use them. So today, we've had a thing of chili peppers in our fridge for about a week, and we're gonna turn it into something you could actually use, kind of like a homemade hot sauce that you can put on to tacos or burritos or pizza, or mac and cheese, really anything you want. So it's pretty easy. You just need um, five ingredients. You need the chili pepper of choice. You need a lemon, some salt, uh, ginger, and a mediocre olive oil. I prefer to use higher quality olive oils, but this is all we had at the store. Um, I'm still kind of getting my bearings in Hamilton, figuring out what stores I like and what stores I don't like. Um, so I'm not sure I'm gonna go back to this olive oil, but that can be uh, talked about in a later video. So, we're gonna jump right into things here. So, this looks like about a half a pound of chili peppers. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the tops off of them. Um, Cause you don't really want to eat that part. Okay, so we got our food processor set up here. Um, pretty easy, you don't really need a knife or anything. All you really need is this, uh, it's like called the micro plane. I'm sure I've talked about this in other videos. Just for grinding the fresh ginger. So we're gonna go ahead and put all these chilies into the food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can also do this by hand, or you can use a blender. Food processor just gets the right texture. And you can get them at Canadian Tire for like, or any like department store for like, pretty cheap. This is a pretty small one, does the job well. Then you're just gonna wanna pulse this. It gets like kind of chunky like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the, the lemon. So this is a lemon juicer. If you don't have one of these, you should go on and buy one. It's pretty big game changer for me. It keeps all the seeds intact. Again, buy that at the same time you're buying the food processor and the microplane. going with a pinch, a pretty large pinch of salt. So that was the juice of one like pretty small lemon. And then I'm gonna scrape the sides down just to make sure everything's incorporated. <laughs> oh man, don't put your face over that, it's pretty hot. <laughs> Now I'm gonna hit it with the ginger. Good tip when you're using fresh ginger is I put all my ginger in the freezer and uh, it's like so much easier to grate. I don't bother with taking the skin off. Um, I tend to buy organic ginger so it's uh, not really worried about it anyways. And if you do, but don't buy organic ginger, just give it a good rinse and it should be fine. Not really measuring this, just kind of going it until uh, I want to stop. If you do put it in the freezer, it will be like kind of 20% water, so you gotta keep that in into consideration. All of this I'm grinding out is not just ginger, it's also like frozen. So if you're taking notes at home, that's probably like two tablespoons worth of um, grinded ginger. And uh, as it's going, I'm just gonna pour in about a tablespoon of oil. It'll help just, just really bring everything together. Oh. This, uh, this is where if you have a really good oil, it'll uh, really help with the flavor because it will really bring out 
the flavor of the oil. Versus if you have a crappy oil, it doesn't really taste like anything. So it looks like it's done. Just gonna add another pinch of salt. And uh, I'm gonna put it into a container of some sort. All right, so now I'm just putting it into this cute little jar here. Um, I tend to use these little mason jars for spices. I find they're like the perfect width for like, like measuring spoons and stuff like that. Because there's nothing more annoying than using spices with like really small jars and you can't actually like get a lot of it out. So I find I like to get things that I like to use or else I don't use them. And uh, if you're not a fan of spice, you could definitely try this with like a more milder pepper, like jalapeno or uh, whatever you like. And you can take the seeds out if you want. And there you go, there's some uh, green ginger chili paste. So pretty easy, like I said again, you can put this on like, tacos or like stir fries, burritos, really anything you want. Um, pretty easy whip up, that took about, I think, 10 minutes, maybe less than that. Food processor is a game changer for sure. Like I said, go to like a Walmart, the entire, uh, if you're in the States, uh, I don't know, they have Walmarts everywhere, so you go there, get one, $20, $30, well worth your investment. Um, in a weekend, you'll probably use it like four times. So yeah, that's my, uh, that's, that's the green pepper paste. So if you like the video, give a comment down below of uh, what kind of heat you've had. Like spice level you can handle, um, have you had the green, Grim Reaper pepper? Have you had the, I think it's called the scorpion? And I had it with my friends Christian and Aubrey, and my brother, and uh, it was uncomfortable. I, I, it wasn't that actually that bad right away, but the next day it was, uh, it was hard to sit down, let me tell you that much. Uh, so yeah, tell me your weirdest crazy stories about spice. Like, I don't know, I think I'm pretty good with spice, but that was a, I'm done now, de definitely never gonna do that again. So yeah, just thought I'd whip up a midweek uh, video for you guys, try and get some more videos out there, so hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button down below for more great videos. Thanks!